What's up guys, Baker here. Today I am gonna be um doing automatic twixter syncing v2. And the first one was about taking values from the audio and applying it to a cinematic, and now we're doing handmade values and applying it to a clip. Looks something like this. So there you go. Kinda kinda lame, but watch this. So you can see it goes, skips automatically to the beat. And this wasn't the best clip to work with because at the very end he walks uh, a long way, so the skips are very far spaced apart. But for the most part, it looks pretty cool in the beginning. So uh, I just want to say this first this is not going to be a easy and, yeah, not going to be an easy tutorial if you had trouble with the first Twixer syncing automatic stuff. This might be a little too hard, but if you can follow along, that is great, because I think this method is pretty interest interesting, but yeah, it's tough. So, anyways, I'm um, we'll make a new comp real quick, and this will be uh, 720, 59 frames, we'll make it 30 seconds. So, this will be your, oh, what happened? Oh, I didn't make a new one, sorry, just keying. So, you have your comp, and you have your clip, and you have your song, which should be longer than 5 seconds, but you get the idea. Um, what you want to do is make your own null object, and rename this to your syncing null. Now, your audio may not be this, you know, defined, but um, try to either use markers or something so that you can see where the beats are. And what we're going to do is find a slider control, put that on your syncing null, and we're going to zoom in here. So on the first beat, we're going to go right about here, keyframe at zero, move forward one frame on the beat, keyframe it up to 100, and we'll go about 10 frames forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keyframe it down to zero. So we get three keyframes. Zero, hundred, zero. Now I'm going to copy these. Command C or, or Control C. And just paste it on the other beats, making sure that the second keyframe is pretty much right on that uh, beat. So I'm just going to keep going here. I know there's two beats right here. Got another beat over here. And then one over here, I think, yeah. So, just try this out. If you have markers, that can help you a lot. If you have something like a techno song, or something with really defined uh, kick drums, like a rap song or something, um, this will be pretty easy for you guys. Okay, so something like that. Um, what we're going to do is have our Twixter being driven by these slider val values, and you can see they kind of make little triangles with those zero, hundred, zero values. Yeah. Anyways, so here is the long process. So we're gonna go to our clip and find when he shoots somebody. Zoom out here. So he's gonna shoot somebody right about yeah, and you're gonna split the clip. Move forward. He shoots here. Split the clip. Move forward here. Get to collateral. Make sure your clip has a collateral on it. I just kidding. Move forward. And shoots the guy right. Yeah. All right. So we're good. So now we're going to snap our clips to the snares. So this is kind of like the uh, efficient Twixer syncing where you split your clips and you snap it to the snares. So I'm going to go here and snap the first clip and I'm also going to take the first beginning stuff and put it on the other side by snapping using the begin brackets and the end brackets. So it goes dun 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 snare right here. 
Next clip. Snap. Dun dun. I don't know where the snares are anymore. I think it's this one. And snap. Last snare I know is right here. And snap. So I'll go ahead and just trim this just because. And extend these out longer. Good. So we have should have these synced up, but the stuff in between doesn't really uh, fit well. So let's start this up. Okay, there we go. On your first clip, drag on a slider control. Rename it to on off. This is our on off switch for our clip. You're going to go to the very beginning, keyframe it at zero, move forward one, keyframe it to one. And that is at the beginning of the clip. So you can see our keyframes right here. Now, take your on off switch and the slider and copy them. Go to the beginning of your next clip and paste them. Now make sure your slider is still called on off so you might have to rename it again. Next clip, beginning and paste your slider, rename it on off, go to the beginning of the last one, paste it, rename it to on off. So all of our clips should have a slider that says on off and should have keyframes at the beginning of each clip alright here we go you ready here's the fun part make sure you're syncing no keyframes are showing we'll go to our first clip drag on some tweakster Bink. fix the frame rate and we're going to alt click on the speed so what we're going to say is if parentheses we're going to pick whip to the on off slider remember that up here pick whip to that now if that slider equals equals zero parentheses we want to keep it um, normal so we say value but else if it's not zero then we want to have it be driven from the syncing null so we're going to go linear Parentheses. Pick whip to what values? Pick whip to the sinking null slider. Let go. Comma. And what values are in the sinking null? 0 and 100. Now what values do you want the speed to be? Well, I want the, slow, the low end to be, let's say, 1, and the high end to be 100%. And parentheses. And close. And now you'll see, if I clean this up a little bit. No, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, boom. We will have skips going at 100%, slow parts going at 1%, and yeah. Now we need the end to match up. So, how do we do that? We go to the frame right before the next clip, right here. Same clip right here. Okay. Push U, go back into the expression, and change that last 100, which was the Twixter output and bump that up to 200 no nope, need it more maybe 250 perfect so that's all we're doing we just change the output so that it affects all the speeds in between so that it'll end up shooting the guy at the very end so now we can just take our twixter and the expression copy those and paste it on the next clip just make sure you fix your frame rate that's all and it should keep the expression that it has. So we'll go into the expression. Um, actually, we'll go to the last frame first. Zoom in here. Last frame before. Now we'll go into the expression, and we need to mess around with the Twixer output value so that it gets to the next kill. So we'll go 300. That's pretty close. Maybe just uh, 310. Close enough. All right. So next clip, paste your Twixter, fixing the frame rate, frame rate, 59.94. So now we're at um, this layer. We go to the last frame right before. Push you, go into the expression, mess around with the 
output value, so I know this is around 1800, I think. It's getting pretty close. 1900. Almost. 1950. Close enough. Should be. Maybe not. 19... 2000? I don't know, but the good thing about this is you can change this at any point you want and it won't like ruin anything else. That's why I like this method. It, it is more complex, but um, it's like you can modify anything you want at any time. Like if you don't like the 1% slow speed, you can change that and then you just have to change your output value and then it takes like, you know, two seconds. So let me just ramp preview this real quick. Hopefully I did all this right. But um, the main thing here is having a, uh, a custom syncing null for your kick drum. And then you're using the linear value function thingy expression to drive your Twixter. And you can customize that super easily so hopefully all that kinda makes sense I know it's might be kinda weird but um... yeah just chilling right now hopefully this RAM preview can go a little bit faster so yeah anyways let's play this Cool. So like I said, this clip in the middle didn't really work because um, the kills were too far spaced out right here. But yeah, so at any time you can just go here and you know add more um, keyframes so you can have it like super fast like and it would be automatic and uh, super easy and stuff. So anyways. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment because I know this can be pretty weird. Um, like, favorite the video, Facebook, Twitter, I'm up on there and stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to end this before it gets too long. Peace!